block drain. Right. Hello. Hello. Right, this is a stack pipe for a new bathroom. All new pipe work. They've just plumbed it in and realized everything's backed up. Isaac, as his job, he's cut this away kindly for us. And um, that's allowed us to get access into the line. Isaac's pulled out some debris. I think that's just the beginning of it. If you have a look down here, you'll see there's more. It's chockers. I might just try and grab some of that out of there. There's my fingers. I've got a nice piece there. Got a nice little specimen here. That looks like a floor waste of an old shower. That shouldn't be in there. That'd be Isaac. Oh, it's Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the man himself. Yeah. Isaac. <laughs> Is that your doing? That's not my doing. Yeah, yeah. It's whoever demoed the bathroom's doing. Why don't they put something over their pipe when they demo? It's ridiculous. See this all the time. Yeah. Okay, so... As you can see, she's well and truly blocked. That's as far as I can get my arm down. I don't think I can physically pull any more out. No. So we're going to try and blast some of it out towards us. And we're going to blast the rest through to the boundary truck where Isaac has very cleverly stuck the rod along with his disc down the line so we're going to go and drop this below the line where it comes in so that when all the bits and pieces come in Isaac can pull them out gently I'm going to give it a bit of a blast, Isaac. You won't get anything just yet, it might take a while. I'm going to try something different and put the, um, the penetrator down. Hopefully this will free up some of the stuff, blast it down to Isaac, and the rear jets will blast some of it out here, hopefully. You are? So we cleared a bit of that muck out of the way. Let's have a look. Oh boy. Look at that. Would you believe it? There's some there's some big rocks. Some big rocks. There's what? Some big rocks. And they're just thick as. Hopefully it's not too much further of that, but at this stage, I'm gonna have to try and put the small head in and try and blast them physically out. Yeah. Does it come direct all the way to this line? It should do. Really? It should. Okay. 
I'll try and axe them first. I'll get them first, but, I... but if not, we'll try and come from downstream and blast them out. But even that's going to be problematic in itself because we're going to have water coming back and it's going to weigh down the plunger and it's going to block there. And then we can lose bits down the um down the boundary trap. Well, we don't want to do that. Otherwise, we've got a boundary trap problem on our hands as well. So we're going to put this little axe down. What we'll do with the axe... There's bits of copper and everything in there. We're going to try and tunnel in with the axe through all that rubble. And then blast most of that stuff back and break it up a bit so maybe we can push it all the way through. Okay. There we go. Uh, not just yet. Okay, slowly please. Isaac, slowly, that's straight up, yep. Because that's gonna... It's gonna come back at me quite heavy. Okay. Bit more? Yep, bit more. Bit more. Keep going. All the way. We're getting some stuff out. Let's blast them back. if we made any progress. They're chunky bits. All right, we might have to put the reverse reverse on for that. Try and reverse them out. Yeah, a little bit, but there's such chunky bits down there. I'm going to try and bang in with that and just blast them out. See, it's got all sorts in there. I'll do, I'll do it because yeah. uh, otherwise this one's pretty powerful.
All right. Let's see if that's made any difference. It's a bit better. We got some chunks out, but they're still pretty heavy in there. Very heavy. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Because I'm not in the firing line here. Okay. Cool. Okay, it looks like we're going back to our original Jetta nozzle. Because this is just banging on the larger bits. We've got to get behind the larger bits. Try the slightly smaller axe. Do a little wash. Down we go. them out without getting our hose caught. So known in our trade as a tampon. <clears throat> okay. Oh boy. What we could try and do is try and suck it out with the uh, with the vacuum cleaner. That's probably our next portal call. So we're going to go down with the work vac now. See what we can pull out at the end of this. Come on.
that's not working real great either. Got a couple of pieces. <clears throat> You're gonna have to dig. Was that right? Dig. You're gonna have to do some digging. Yeah, I think you might be right. All right. Uh, move it up there, foreman. I'll remove some of this out of the way. We'll dig down. Oh, an easy dig. <clears throat> All right, you do some digging. How's that, boss? Very good, keep digging. Down around the base of it there so we can cut it around there and retrieve those pieces. Get your nose in there. Perfect. Good work, good job, Brady. Have a little break. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. Now I've seen a reciprocal saw. I don't use these very often. But we might just give it a little chop of roo here. Compliments of Isaac. Nice little bit of machinery there. Not sure I got it all though. Still a tiny bit left there. That should do it. out then we can get to some of those bits all right 
So it's actually on a plumb quick down there. So I just need to undo that plumb quick and it should pull out. Or I could just try and reef it out. Oh. There we go. She's out. Now what are we dealing with? We hit the jackpot. That's us right there. So we're going down trying to suck this out. We probably never would have done it. So this is the beginning. Look at that. She's on her way out. Oh boy, they're well and truly jammed in there. <laughs> I might make a little pile of the stuff just so we can see exactly what's come out. sand out of the way and no sand falls in big piece better out than in hmm. another big piece Just keep coming. Come on and come on. <clears throat> There's a big piece wedged in there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just a little bit around the bend and hopefully that'll be it. Good size piece right at the shot at the bend. Oh. Hmm. But there's not too many more down there. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's there. We'd never have sucked all these pieces out. Done the thin out down there, which is good. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh. 
All right, so there's a couple of larger bits. Oh, hole in one. Oh. As I was saying, there's a couple of larger bits, like this one that went down, a little bit further on beyond my reach. So we'll try and blast it out with the jet, back out this way. Whatever else is stuck in there that we can't get to, we'll push all the way down through the shaft. I'm winning. <laughs> Look what's coming out. Like, uh, tiles. I'd say it'd be tiles, Reg. <laughs> I'll do the old uh, reverse and try and blast out whatever is left. Yeah. I think I've got most of it, which is good news. We're winning. Winning. Yeah. Um, you say you're right now? Or you yeah, yeah. Oh. Yep. Hang on, yeah, he's coming back. I think. <laughs> I don't blame him if he's gone to Bali. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. All right, we're going to put the little reverse down now. And we're going to try and blast whatever remnants are left out of the line. I might just have a quick look with the camera. See what we're dealing with. Yeah, so as you can see, there are a couple of bits left in there, but nothing major, which is great news. We don't want to push them down too far. That's all that's left. That big one there, a bit further down, that one there. We're going to blast them back out of here, hopefully. Let's stick the reverse down. Nicely positioned. All right, pressure up. Still a big piece there. I'm gonna try and get that out. the sand away so that when the water comes out it's not going to push sand in.
They might have got it all. You know what? I think we must have blasted that big piece out. I can't see it in there. So, we might just wash water down. Then we'll go through the whole system with the camera. Make sure there's no pieces left further down the line. No bits came out yet. Alright, we might put the big camera down. The reason why we're going to put the big camera down as opposed to the smaller camera is because the big camera is going to take up more of the pipe as it goes down and it's going to push whatever it is through the system to our uh, plunger to the plunging disc on the other end cool. I'll clean that camera lens just with a little bit of water clean up our little booty that's quite a haul All right, just making some water down there so we clear that lens That'll do. Okay, carry on down. We're coming to a dropper. Dropping down. Holds a bit of water there. Reason being, there's a bit of sand and a bit of uh, debris down the line. Now we'll push that through. We want to push that all the way. It's mostly sand. Okay. Oh, well, we might have to just jet it. Plunger. He's back. What you missed all the action. What happened? <laughs> Isaac's been to Bali. <laughs> <laughs> he, al he always leaves when it gets tough. Well, I was trying to get some gear. To... <laughs> <laughs> I got it out. That's what happened. Show me all that. I would never have got it out with the other system. This was the only way. That 
fortunately had a um had a quick connect oh, down there so all you have to do is connect it back up that's great. yeah happy with that mate i think there's just a couple of these little bits left in some sand down there i'm going to put the forward shooter on and we'll i'll blast it down to you okay on the uh plunger There we go, there's a piece there. That's a good size piece. We need to get that one down to Isaac. That's the only piece that's left in there, I think. What's that, mate? There's, there's only one piece left in there. I'm gonna try and blast it all the way down to you. But what you might find will happen is the plunging disc is going to want to block up the line it's going to get really heavy and it's going to fill up with water push at an angle. okay cool you know what you're doing it's not your first radio it's only three okay well down we go I'll just check with the camera. Hi, Zach. Don't pull it out yet, Isaac. Looks like we got that bit. Okay, there's Isaac's plunger. Isaac, pull it up real slow. You see the elevator come past in a sec. Stop! Yeah, there's nothing on the end. It must have got past you. Okay, go down to the boundary truck. Doesn't seem to be in there, but it is pretty dirty, the water. So if it did get through, um, 
we can always blast it through from the boundary trap. If it got past, yeah. we'll just blast the boundary trap. Isaac, can you do the honours and pop that down the uh, shaft please mate? I'll do you want. Thank you sir. Alright, fire in the hole. Yeah? Happy with that? Isaac, like, there's only one last thing to do. That's a toilet paper flush test. He knows the drill. We'll push it down. Isaac. Like, yeah. Actually, I'll try and beat it down. No, better you flush it. You want me to flush it? Can you do the deed please, mate? Flush away. Alright. Alright. On the count of three, right? One, two, three. Three it is. Paper and all. Thanks, Isaac. All good, in the end, sort of. You happy with that, Isaac? Oh, uh, Ollie, couldn't be happier. Good man, thank you. Isaac tried clearing it with his flex shaft. That would not have worked in a million years, but it's worth a try, hey, Isaac. Well, I only did my best. Isaac's gluing it all back together. He works fast, Isaac. Well, all he has places to be. I do indeed. Can't always be looking after me. Like on the couch watching TV. Explains why the Durgo was never working. Oh yeah. Because the whole line is so blocked. That there is a Durgo, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little breather. So the pipe is vented. Beautiful. Tighten that up. And we're good to go. Back in business. Excellent. We'll just fill this back in. Did you tighten those up, those little screws? Yeah, I've got to tighten them up. Good man. Thank Thanks, you. Isaac. Get home, Ollie. Get on the road. Will do, mate.